How's it going guys? James here on the Shard TCG channel. So I was just finishing up the Gekin and then I thought, ooh, that's a fun little technique to show people. So this isn't going to be a very long video. It's just a little cheat that I've picked up that other people who use Inkscape might find useful. So see what you think of this. Right, so I'm going to add the shading and the highlight here. Obviously this is quite strong. You know how I do shading in a separate layer. Just a reminder. So I haven't done any Inkscape videos since um, since that last shading one, the shading example. So I bring it down to about 50%. That's nice, dark and sinister, this Gekin. Uh, the highlight is at 40%. That's good. I mean, I could really add the depth like that. Or I could bring it in. It look, obviously looks too flat when it's at zero. But anyway, so once I had this done, 53, not... In case we trigger people, nice double five, 55, there we go. So as I was looking at the Gekin, just doing the final touches, thinking what, what else does it need? I thought this bit here, right, we're going to zoom in. This shoulder doesn't look too natural to me. So I tried moving this around, you know, and I was, I was putting this up here because I want that shadow there, but I want the light to shine through there, so should it be... Should it be touching there? So you get the collarbone light there. And I just couldn't quite get it to work. You know, I, I tried protruding it a bit further up and really curving it in. And then I thought, well, it doesn't need to be under there, but no, that should be a shadow there. So I just, I was a bit lost. And as you can see, now that I've drawn attention to it, you can see it's, it's quite wrong. Oh, what's happened there? All right, <laughs> we're back. So let's bring it back to the way it was. That's the way it was. And I thought, right, I'm not figuring it out. And that's my shortcoming. So what I picked up as a shading cheat is to just add a little, a little bit of flare like this, right? You put one of these in and then you put one of them in like that. And you're thinking, what, what are you doing? But wait, it's gonna make sense, right? So then we select the shadow as well. So we have both things selected. We go to path, we click difference, and we've got this cool little, I don't know, just like an inlay, like it could be remnants of a scar or just how the shadow works in general. So then you look at that and you go, all right. And it kind of blurs the line. You don't know if the shadow should be down here or up here. So it kind of, it's like um, hatching, I suppose, but like cell shaded hatching, I guess. So then I thought, oh, that's nice. And I wasn't sure about this bit up here. And I'm like, does that, is that how the skull would work? Would it have that much, would it have that many ridges? So why not? And this is just good. You can just throw a few of these just on bits where you're not sure. They're, they're not bad. You're just not sure if they're good enough. So. And then, and then you can get a bit silly and just start putting them everywhere. Because it just creates a bit more character rather than all these smooth lines. And if you haven't already, take a look at the Shard TCG Discord channel. And that'll have a lot of examples of earlier drawings and later drawings. And you'll see how I've slowly adapted this into my drawings. It's not too many. This is more of a newer technique, but I think it improves things. So you can put them in and it gives it a little bit of, a little bit of oomph. And, Another little little cheat, you know, that people say don't use, they tell you not to use these blends because it's like lazy shading, but with eyes, they really work well. You just give them, oh, 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 he's angry. See, that looks quite good as well, but I think we're going to stick with that. Because what you can do is you put that little blend in, just give it that little dark orange tone on the yellow. The orange and yellow works really well. You can do other things like green and purple. That like really pops. Probably not with the Gekin, but with other creatures, it does. I didn't plan that. That was like a little bonus. But the reason you do that is it's not shading cheating because you have the highlight here and then you have the shadow here. And this is something I always do as well is with highlights, the highlights tend not to touch the edges. Sometimes they do. You just have to feel for what's right. So 
my highlights, they don't touch the edge here, but the shadows do. The shadows just engulf where the highlight, it, it gleams. So you can think of other examples, like I've got this little highlight here, it doesn't touch the edge. It's a little, it's a little shine on, on the flesh where the shadows engulf and consume all of it. So it's just, it's finding, it's finding what's right for you and this is what's right for me. So I'm not saying this is the way to do it. This is just a little tip. If you're trying to find your way, maybe this can be a little bit of a guide for you. Now I say, I'm gonna keep this video short anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you're interested in the Shard TCG. Don't forget to check that out on Discord, like I mentioned below. Uh, like I mentioned before, the link is in the description below. Thanks very much, guys. I'll catch you next time.